It's 1917. There are Australian troops, Australian soldiers, in Europe fighting in World War I. But back home in Australia, the Queensland government and the federal government are getting ready to fight as well. But first, what's the Queensland government? And what's the federal government? Australia is a federation, which means there are different levels of government. Australia was colonized by the British. At the end of the 1700s and throughout the 1800s, the 19th century, the British created several different colonies on the continent of Australia. They colonized it in different areas. Out of these developed big colonies, each with their own governments and laws. Like different countries, in 1901, all of these colonies combined to create the country of Australia. But each of the colonies kept their own government. They became states inside the Commonwealth, inside the country. And the country as a whole, Australia, got a new federal government to govern the whole country. Like other countries, like the United States, Australia is a federation. There's a federal government and state governments under the federal government for each area or state of the country. So in November 1917, there was a problem between the federal government and one of the state governments, the Queensland state government. Queensland is one of the states in Australia. There was a big issue at the time. Australians were deciding whether there should be conscription. There were already Australian soldiers fighting over in Europe, but they had volunteered. The soldiers had said, I want, I want to go to Europe and fight. But other countries in World War I didn't just send volunteers, people who wanted to fight, they conscripted people to be soldiers. They forced people, citizens of their countries, to go and fight in the war. Australia never did. In the First World War, there were no conscripts sent to Europe. But it nearly happened. In 1916, there was a plebiscite, a vote to decide whether there should be or shouldn't be conscripts. The no's, the people saying no to conscription, voting no to conscription, won by a bit. So in 1916, there was no conscription. But again, in 1917, the federal government ran another plebiscite, another vote. The government really wanted conscripts. They wanted more soldiers to send to Europe, and there weren't enough people volunteering to go. As I said, in 1916, the people voted no, but only just. It was about, about 50-50. So in Australia at the time, there was a lot of disagreement. A lot of people supporting conscription and a lot of people against conscription. And it was getting violent. The Queensland state government was the one government in Australia to publicly say no to conscription, to argue against conscription. And then, because there were so many people against conscription who were giving speeches, talking against conscription, the federal government started to impose censorship. 
what's censorship? That means the government was starting to make it illegal, starting to punish people for saying things or writing things against conscription. They wanted to win the plebiscite in 1917, which they had lost in 1916, and they were ready to silence, to silence the people who were against it. But the Queensland government didn't like this. So they started printing speeches and other written material against conscription. Governments print a lot of stuff. If you think of everything that a government does, all the services and agencies and parts of life that the government is involved in, they print a lot of information. So the government has its own printing office, its own building, its own office, where all the stuff gets printed. The Queensland government had its own printing offices. And because everyone else was being censored, was being silenced, members of the Queensland government started to read, to read out prohibited materials or to make speeches, speeches against conscription that everywhere else in Australia had been censored. And those speeches or what was read out in Parliament, in the Queensland Parliament, was then printed in the printing offices. In November 1917, the Prime Minister of Australia, Billy Hughes, went to Queensland, went to the Queensland government's printing office with soldiers, with soldiers with guns, and they took all the material that had been printed that they didn't like, that they wanted to censor. After this happened, the Queensland government posted police at the entrance to the printing office so that if the federal troops, if the federal soldiers came again to take more, there would be a fight. Luckily, it didn't come to that. And there was no violence, no fighting between the Queensland police and the federal soldiers, between the Queensland government and the federal government. But it was close. And during World War I, because conscription was such a emotional issue for so many people, there were many times when it came to violence and fighting. But luckily, it never got to the point where two governments in Australia started to actually fight. Do you like these sorts of stories? A lot of people like the stories of the feds against the states. There are a lot of historical stories from the United States of the federal police or federal soldiers, the federal government against one of the states or against the locals. It's an interesting and sometimes fun type of story because it's so unexpected that not so long ago, there was open conflict between governments in one country. Australia isn't the United States. We never had a civil war between two groups of states, a war with lots of fighting and violence. But there are lots of little confrontations that happened between different governments over the years because of bigger divisions in the society as a whole. If you like stories about the feds as much as I do, please like the video and tell me in the comments if you want more videos like this one. All right, see ya. And don't forget that you can support me on Patreon. The link is in the description below.